Hi guys. I know it's been a long time since I posted a video or did a review. Um, I was on vacation the first week of the month. Then I spent, you know, maybe a week or so laying around doing nothing and sleeping. And then I started my internship. But, um, I wanted to do a review on a product I've been using now about two weeks. And I really, really like the stuff. Um, it is the Revlon Color Stay Active Light Makeup. Um, I got this at CVS. Some CVS are discontinuing it, but it's not discontinued anywhere else, so I think that's kind of strange. Um, the only place it's been regular price is everywhere but CVS. CVS is the only place I, I know of that they're putting 75% off label on them. Um, so... Normally, I think this runs for about, I think, $13. Um, with the 75% off, it was like 3 and change. And then I had that red color say coupon that you peel off of the package at, for $3. So this makeup ended up costing me like $0.50, cents, maybe $0.49. Cents. Um, so anyway, the shade I have it in is Buff. It was the lightest one that I could find anywhere. I don't know if they make it any lighter, um, but lucky for me, I thought buff was going to be too dark, but the color is actually a teensy bit lighter than it is in the package. The thing is, is that I bought this because, you know, I want to try it A, and B, even if it didn't match my skin, you know, I would have only lost 50 cents. Um, but I'm really, I usually don't buy makeup like this because I can't see what shade it is, and that bothers me. Like, I like to be able to see what I'm getting, what a product actually looks like, and, you know, hold it up to my face. But, um, this just happens to match. Um, my mom actually said it may be a bit dark, but if I, you know, put a powder over it, or it kind of lightens it, and, you know, summer's here, and I'm going to be outside more, so I guess over time my skin will, you know, let, will get dark enough. And I mean, right now I actually think it matches perfectly. Um, so this stuff, basically, you don't put it on your whole face at once. You blend it in little by little, like all over your face. I usually do my chin, this part of my cheek, this part, this, 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 nose, here, the forehead and then sides, blend it all in, and then some down here. But don't try doing your whole face like at one time because it won't work. This stuff says that it's light coverage, light to sheer. Um, it says weightless, sweatproof light coverage. Um, I actually find that this covers up a good deal of my my blemishes or my acne scars. So you, this is buildable. I mean, you can apply it very lightly and get a sheer kind of effect, but you can also, you know, build it on and get a medium to almost, I mean, I'm not full, probably medium coverage, but this covers what I want it to cover up, and I have a lot of shit on my face, so, um, anyway, this stuff kind of does have a weird, I guess, sour kind of odor to it. I mean, you can't smell it when it's on your skin. You only really notice it if you, you know, put it on your fingers and suck it up to your nose and smell. Um, it, it, you can get o get over that. But um, the finish is matte. Uh, some people say it's kind of a little bit dewy, but I think compared to what compared to the stuff I was using before, which is the Maybelline Mineral Power, this stuff is matte compared to that. Um. This, I put it on, it stays put, and it does not budge. I wore this makeup when I was vacationing down in D.C. and Northern Virginia, and it was like in the 80s all, all week with like 70 to 85 percent humidity or something, so it was hot. I was sweating, it was nasty. My mother was wearing makeup that ran all over her face, and she was like melting, but my makeup looked like I just put it on. Like, seriously, we, we would leave the house at 10 o'clock in the morning. We would get back at 6 o'clock at night after sweating and walking in the hot sun. And, ugh, muggy. And my makeup looked like I just put it on. It, I was like, oh my god. <clears throat> like, I didn't have any oily or shiny patches either. 
I mean, I may have had a few, but over the course of the day, I guess I, you know, did this or something. But, um, I wore this today, and I didn't get, I've been, I've been wearing this for a while now, and I did not get any shininess on my face for at least a good seven, eight hours, which is phenomenal. Like, and also, I sweat a lot on my hairline, I don't know why, like, right in my, and then my cowl, it gets curly and it's nasty. But, um, this stuff doesn't sweat off. It doesn't come off until I wash it off. Like, if I sweat, it doesn't come down my face. Like, if I do this to get sweat off my face, makeup doesn't come off on my finger. And I really like that. Um, so yeah. I'm... I highly suggest you try this. It's really good. Like... So it looks like I just apply my, my, my makeup all day. I haven't, when I was wearing this, obviously, I think when I was in DC, I, I, may, I may have touched up with some powder, maybe once during the course of the, the day. Actually, maybe less, I'm not sure if I did it all, I don't remember. I think I may have done it once, but like, it looked like I just put it on, and it didn't sweat off, and... I just think it's great, and I'm so glad. I, I I bought another one. I found another one for 75 for 75 percent off. I bought another one for 50 cents. Like this will be this will probably be my go-to foundation, at least until I run out of these and I try something else. Like I've been trying out foundations to see which ones would be the best on my skin. Um, and this is a this is a good one. This is really good, and I highly recommend it. Once again, this is the Revlon Colorstay Active, and I'll see you all later.